we are playing some Cthulhu Saves the World. Uh, you may have noticed my username has changed as well. Yes, that is because uh, Google forced me to do it. <laughs> Today, yes, we are starting a new thing, Cthulhu Saves the World. Along with this, there will be Breath of Death 5 or 6 or 7, I can't really read now, Roman, Roman numerals. But they will both be running side by side because they're both from the same creators and they're both really weird RPGs. I thought I'd bring you both at the same time. Uh, I recently got these, they're on Steam at the moment for a bundle for $1.99, so you can't say no. Let's get involved and see what this is all about. I literally have no idea about this game, I've never seen it before. Um, well, I've seen it before, but I've never played it or really looked much into it. it just, I just don't even know what Cthulhu is, really. Right, okay, uh, normal mode. For the intrepid adventurer, not too hard, not too easy. For the frail in body and mind, monsters are weaker, MP recovery is increased. For the one who has walked into the darkness and returns, monsters are more powerful, MP recovery... You have to be insane to choose this difficulty. Bonus mode, replay value usually includes Cthulhu's Angel score attack, Highlander overkill mode. Only available after beating the game. Hmm, I'm tempted to buy insane, uh, but let's go with easy. Commentary on or off? Find question marks to learn more about the creation of the game. Well, we'll leave that off, so if anyone else wants to play this game, they can get the commentary on and see all about the game. Uh, the, for countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has laid dormant in his underground water of Ryleth. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on oblivious to his presence until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu. As Cthulhu emerged from the the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed, but wait, what is that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from atop yonder cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. The, with his power drained, Cthulhu washes up from the neighbouring shore, defeated and de dejected. Cthulhu, gah! After waiting all this time to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man in highly frustrating, I must get my powers back, but how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu did not know that one and only to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would, he would become, have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. Mohaha. Foolish narrator, while you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now I too know the ways to regain my power. Whoops. I, Kafulu, do hereby vow to devote my time, my life, to becoming a true hero, but only so that I can regain my powers and summon Ryleth to the surface and destroy the world, of course. And thus, an unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before you begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. The great Cthulhu does not need assistance. However, for the benefit of the lowly player who d dares control me, I will allow you to continue with your people tips. Hold our shift key while moving to run really fast. Well, what's the... Um, what's... Okay then. <laughs> don't have a... Oh, right. Mwahaha! Foolish game developer, by the time, by giving me this ability to run fast, I'll finish this silly game in half the time. You will be able to sell it back to the game store before the trading value drops. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Press the tab key to bring up your menu from here. You can chat with members of your party, check out your stats, start a fight, change your equipment, save your game, teleport back to cities you visited. I can save at any time. What is this? A first person shooter? Use abilities like insanity slash in combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out, a few enemies become more dangerous when insane. There will be no watching out, I shall bestow the gift of insanity upon all. Cthulhu mode does not look interested. Build up your co combo count with hits, then unleash a powerful combo finisher ability like death blow for massive damage. Are you done yet? It is. If it is alright for you, I would like to actually play this game sometime this year. Good luck! Cosmic monstrosities do not need luck with forge our own destinies, no matter what the cost of to humanity. Right, we have started the game. Uh, okay. Um, uh, yep. Let's. It doesn't move much faster. Right, what's in here? You've got one free one up, so you can use one up to reset a failed battle. Okay. Right, um. Jump up. 
And we're back, sorry about that, just had to adjust the volume because I just didn't realise that it was actually so ridiculously loud. Alright, here we are as Cthulhu. Uh, oops, wrong button. <laughs> Ignore this. Alright, here we are as Cthulhu. Uh, Alright, chat. Chat can only be used with groups, two or more characters in your group. Okay then. Uh, stats, fights. I wonder if we can just pause my. <laughs> Cthulhu looks for a fight, but no one responds. Okay then. Um, right, let's carry this on. Oh, these graphics are just awesome, you know. Aha! A helpless maiden beset by vicious monsters. I shall rescue her. That's becoming a true hero! That would work in a normal. For a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many heroic deeds before you are remotely close to being considered a true hero. Then I will try... Th then I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Okay, here we go. Goose approaches. Round one begins. Monsters at normal strength. Okay then. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, we've got no spells, we've got a potion. Uh, unite. I don't know what that does. Protect. Self defense is up. Temporarily taunts me at the enemy. Uh, attack. Regular physical attack. 0 LMP. Physical targets 1 enemy. Power 19 times 1. Tech. Insanity. Strike. Uh, targets 1 enemy. Attack power 2 times 3. Three, uh, adds insanity, death blow. Well, uh, let's go back. I can't imagine these things are that strong. 19. There we go. Right, um. Monsters at 130 percent. Oh, they seem to get stronger as the battle goes on. Okay, well, death blow. Performs death blow. One hit. 48 damage. The goose. the goose has been deleted. All enemies have been defeated. Allies regain 4 HP and 3 MP. You gain 2 XP and 2 gold. Kulu is now level 4. Choose your level up bonus. Right, okay, um, this was something that I noticed. Uh, it has a branching leveling up system. So you can level up A or B. Uh, a being strength, passive ability, it gives insane enemy. Each insane enemy gives strength. Ah, oh, right, there we go. Well, we'll go with strength. Die, foul slime monsters. Cthulhu's voice is actually changing, probably, because I'm terrible at keeping one voice. As Cthulhu defeated the vile slime monsters, he turned, to, turned his gaze to the maiden that he had rescued. Gorgeous. What? When Umi gla gazed upon mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, she saw this. <laughs> My hero. Hero indeed! Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. <laughs> At this rate, I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, brave warrior who has saved me from a gooey death. Let me join you in your noble quest. Do you, by chance, do you do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea, I can call them my friends. Baz. Oh, I have a trident, which I can use to stab things. That's more like it. They might actually both have the same voice in this. Um, and above all else, I, Uni, promise you my wholehearted love and devotion. You great big green hunk of handsomeness. Yes, the great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. <laughs> Yay, does that mean we're dating now? That was the wrong voice. <laughs> that was Cthulhu's voice. No, we're strictly a, a rock star groupie relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a second party member? You can use the chat command. You can also use multiple characters. You know techni techniques in battle. Gain more ability. Abil allies unlock. Gain more about allies to unlock more unite abilities. Random encounters are now active for this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you would like to fight beyond that, press the tab key to bring up the main menu and select the fight option. Okay, so basically now we can chat. Is that a live starfish on your hair? Yes, her name is Penta. Isn't she cute? No, a live starfish on your hair? And people, I think I'm disgusting. I think I'm disgusting. Disgusted? I don't know. Alright, let's get the move on. Ah, we found a cave. The town of Mikan. Tonia is past this a series of caves. I'm sure if there's some heroic deed you could do that. To Misconia! Okay, right, um, what's that? Ah, uh -huh, safe. MP restored. 
save the game, won't it? Do not remove the hard drive, save... Oh, that's going to be really awkward. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget that you can save any time. Oh, okay. Right, um, yes. That would be extremely awkward. Imagine actually removing the hard drive. But, alas, I wonder if we can swim. We are Cthulhu. No, apparently not. Are we wearing shorts, actually? Strange. Dum dum dum, monster versus Cthulhu, and Umi snarly approaches at a goal. Goblin approaches. Monster, normal track fright. Uh, let's see what this unite call is. Un call Kraken targets every turn. Okay. You summon a giant Kraken. Goblin attacks for one hit to damage the Uni. Snarly attacks. Kraken, damn. Kraken's powerful. Right, if we attack and attack, and they die. Sweet. Umi's now level 5! Hooray! Okay, I, I'm gonna use her as my hide. Passive ability, less likely to be attacked by the insane agility. Passive ability. Each insane, well, we'll give you insane agility, because I can imagine most games involve the agility as your uh, attack speed. I keep forgetting to hold down run. Right, that's a nice little game. Oh crap, branching pathways. The worst kind. But yeah, this, as I say, this game, uh, I recommend everyone to go buy it, even though I have Please tune in! Uh, yes, this game is on Steam at the moment for 180 something or other. It's really, really cool, and as you can see, it's really, really fun! Die Snaily. Die Snaily. Win! And yeah, apparently normal isn't too hard, but that's because we've only been in three battles? Three battles sounds about right. Um, uh, don't worry, this also, this will not be cancelling everything else. This, I can imagine I should be able to run this and everything else that I do at the same time. Hooray! Unless, of course, I, like, drain myself and end up dying, because, well, yeah, it's a lot of work doing this many Let's Plays at once. So rude. Uh, yes, as I say, yeah. You know, a lot of work goes into my videos, and I appreciate everyone for checking them out. What we're we going to do, we're going to get to Meconia, um, I think that'll be our first stop. We'll stop at Meconia, and yeah, we'll carry this on some other time. Uh, I'm going to try and do about one a day for each this and Breath of Death. Uh, the Breath of Death is, as I say, created by the same people, director, as we neared completion of the game. We made it to I thought I turned off the director. Oh well. Um, as we need completion of the game, we made a discovery. The layouts of some of our dungeons were too complicated and players were getting lost, including some sorts of sophisticated mapping system that wouldn't have taken a lot of time that we needed. So instead we added lanterns in some of the dungeons to help you guide the players in the next area. Oh, that's pretty cool. So basically we need to look for lanterns. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, we've been captured. Yeah, wait, a goal, a crab, and a goal. Round one! Fight! Okay. Uh, I wonder if that's copyright. Oh well. Right. <laughs> dead, dead. I love this Kraken, although I can't imagine I'm going to be able to use it very much. Um, yes. Um, also, I just thought I would throw up a update on the channel, because on Thursday, Friday's video will be uploaded, and Saturday's will probably be uploaded on Monday, depending on how much time I have. Reason being is because I'm going to be away for the weekend at MCM. Uh, if you do see me, ah, crap, I missed some treasure. Uh, if you see a Sasori or a Lord Moo walking around, then that might be me. Might be. I'm not encouraging everyone to run up and attack every Lord Moo and Sasori you find, because that would just cause some problems. I can imagine. Uh, that makes a great pet. Mm. Well, we we want a pet. Uh, let's see, Insanity Strike targets one enemy. Uh, we don't really want to target one enemy, we'll target more. Uh, let's see if we've got anything to target. Aha! Uh -huh, I just found the Kraken! <laughs> that Kraken's just going to get so overused. Right, so there we go. Oh, Umi died! Oh, there we go. Full restore. So weird! Yes, um, apparently, I don't have to pay too much attention, which is kind of good. So we can concentrate fully on the story and grabbing treasure. Five potions. Ah, uh, I wonder. Yes, uh, stats equip. That's what I want. Okay. Could 
Beastie motherfucker. We're gonna like make you like super, super, super overpowered strong man. And we'll make your girl Uni a super, super overpowered mage. That's normally how I play it. The main character is always the sort of strong man, and um, the second character that you normally find, depending on the game, of course, ends up becoming the mage. Oh, I thought that was just random exit move. music. Uh, let's see. You nice. I love that they gave us such an OP move to start with. Right. End those. End those, and we win. Right, okay, we have enough for one more Kraken, so I hope there is nothing outside here that's gonna harm us very badly. Ah, oh, we're back on the we're on top of the cliffs. Okay. I wonder if that's actually true about the Oh Oh crap, I forgot to say. Uh, I am alone here on behalf of the of Earth. We will right wrongs, triumph over evil, and that means you. Switchblades. The name I'm here to steal your wicked from the wicked and give to the just. I'm Dash, the Daring. My courage is only rivaled by my good looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the free heroes of goodly justice. Duck <laughs> in Cthulhu, we will defeat you to restore the light of the world. I'm getting everyone's voice confused here. You're a dark thing? You should have told me. That's so sexy. Starting to lose my voice. I see you've entrusted your vile magic to ensnare that beautiful maiden. Release her. Please. If I was using such magic to ensnare someone, I would have picked someone much hotter. Yo, no raider. Do I get hero points for defeating annoying heroes? No. Well, I'm going to beat them up anyway. Virtue always triumphs over evil. We're sure to win. Your friend over there doesn't look too good. Too virtuous hiding behind that cloak and all. I have a skin condition. Leave me alone. More uh, tiny pu puny puny humans. Even with my powers locked away, I have more than enough power to 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 deal with you. Prepare to be defeated. Alright, okay. Uh we're gonna probably need to concentrate. Very susceptible to peer pressure is having a trouble adjusting to 16 bit. Keeps his dagger in his boots. Right, okay, they are quite damn strong. Uh, and the Kraken costs 12 MP. Targets all turns. Okay, right, so we'll do that. Crap. Okay, so we are going to have to play this quite strategically. Uh, this is going to go badly, probably. Alright, uh, restores 1 HP to max cure, revives and cures it all. Right, okay, so if we completely decimate the cleric... Okay, cool, we've taken out the cleric. Right, so with Cthulhu, uh, we use Death Blow. Do not have enough MP. Crap. Okay, so this is going to be a bit more... Uh, going to be a bit more technical than I thought. Um, insanity Strike, 3 MP, no, we can't do that either. Right, so we're going to have to... Oh, damn, he's powerful. Um, right, so we take out him. Use a potion on Cthulhu. Right, there we go. Okay, right, Cthulhu, Kraken. There are 140 Strike. Uh, right, adds Insanity. We do not have enough MP. I couldn't use the Kraken so much. Um, right, so take out the thief, take out the hero. Boom. Boom. Right, so 
and magically heal Cthulhu again. Boom. 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 First boss down. I love this like music at the end. Uh blind strike targets one enemy. Power fifty-two times one hit, adds for six percent and blind. Targets one group. Go with that one, same as it does damage. Cthulhu 1, lame hero 0. I hope they're okay. They're adventurers, don't I wouldn't worry about it. They're probably already respawned at the nearest church. Uh Final Fantasy. Um I wonder if we'll meet them again. Probably. Enough contemplation. Oh what to heroism. Right. Um interesting fact, before this I didn't know what Cthulhu was, or is. I still don't know what Cthulhu is. Uh, so if no one knows what Cthulhu is, well, it looks him up, I think it's like a beast or something. Ah, uh, it didn't make much sense to me. This, this cave seems to be very windy, but we're still seeing lots of torches. I was imagining that was the end. Seahorse approaches. Uzumaki. <laughs> Naruto. Um, yes. I take you out. Take you out. Take you out. Oh, that's a bit strong. Take you out. There we go. Right. Victory. Cthulhu's level 6. Uh, fireball. Target's one. Flame strike. It's one enemy. So we go up or down. Uh, okay, there's torches up here. We want to get to this main city. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I think they're the torches. <laughs> I think those other ones on the wall are just display. Um, did we go through here already? No, that's impossible. I hope. Oh no, no, we haven't went through here already. Um, yeah. So I hope you're enjoying this so far. Um, I'm enjoying this quite a lot actually. I've seen it sitting around on Steam for a while and I thought I'd finally try it out. And I thought I'd share that with you guys. With a full, um, it was supposed to be less commentary, but I kind of, you know, like speaking. And I thought it'd be better than just leaving it in silence. But, of course, you guys, like, have full control. If you want, I'll stop speaking over these videos and we'll just do this all in silence, I guess. Um, you know, as I was say, my channel is pretty much designed for the viewer in mind. Um, yeah, basically I set the channel up effectively to say, you know, you guys are in control, you choose the um, videos. You choose what happens, you choose what goes up, what doesn't. Well, of course you can choose what goes up and what doesn't, but you can choose what gets continued. Um, unless, of course, you're sitting right next to me, then you can choose what goes up. You'd have to know where I live, which I don't think anyone of you does. Maybe some of you might. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel confident enough to claim that. A dolphin. A dolphin looks pretty damn angry. I love the fact that this combat system is so simple that I can just literally sit here and spam attack. Damn that! Damn. Oh crap! This. Oh, that got a bit close. <laughs> Okay, maybe I can't sit here and spam attack, um, because that happens and I nearly die. Uh, yeah, I, I was expecting that to go actually a bit better, but there we go. Save. Right, there we go. Saved again. Okay. Um, I f we have to be close to the top now. Come on. Ooh. Uh, adventurers cross the long bridge leading to Misconia. Look at the ocean! A strange beast jumps out the ocean and hurtling itself towards Cthulhu. Seriously? <laughs> Looks like a star terror. I haven't seen one well in since my days and Riot yet. What? Time to prove yourself, groupie. What about those battles we fought to get to this point? Mere child's play. Now we have to show what we've got. Oh, crap. 
Star Tower approaches. Right. Um, let's see. Flame Strike. Whoa. That's a lot of damage. Um, right. Target one enemy. Add to insanity. Stun 100% success rate once per battle. Blind Strike. Oh, we'll try and blind it. Start to resists. Oh. Ah, that's my problem. I've been reading it saying one hit, thinking it's one HP, and then I was just like, well, why is it doing so much damage? Right, 120. Oh, Jesus. Um, insanity Strike. I want enough to have Death Blow when we build up a massive combo. Uh, 24 times 2. Well, if we keep up with that. Um, heal and flood. When do we get these powers? Damn, they click every first. Uh, let's see. Heal. Target one power. Power 76. Right, okay. So we've got some healing as well now. Uh, we've got our potions. Um, right. So let's say Siren. There we go. Siren's cool. It's insane and it's stunned. Oh, I forgot about the insanity part. Damn, that done a lot. Uh. Oh, jeez, that could be bad. Um, right, insanity strike, blind strike, blind terrors. Yes, it's blinded. Right, it's insane. Strike twice, six times combo. Cast star heal. Star heal's cured all in. Hundred and thirty strike. Right, if we keep it insane, I can't imagine that. I can't. <laughs> Yes, it's blinded again. Right, insane nine times. Star hit. Right, if we keep looping over on in insanity, and we keep blinding him, he'll have to keep. No, he resisted. Ah, he's insane. Right, star hero star terrors performs boost. Next attack will be very powerful. 150 strength. Right, we've got to take him out in one hit. That. Uh, how much is it? 150. 951. That's not going to kill him. Uh, okay, so we're going to need to take him out very fast, or blind him. He's blinded, yes. It's 200, there we go. Right, so we stopped him from attacking, and boom! Star Terror down. I think that was the first boss. Uh, let's see, Agility, Vitality, Vitality will go up. Uh, Uma's level 7. Uh, let's see, Passive Ability, Combat Count increases ailment success rate. Or 40 plus strength. Well, she's our blinder. Huff huff. Not bad. Guess you're as useless as I expected. <laughs> Yay! I'm not useless. Hey, wait a second. I feel bad for Star Terror though. It reminded me of a pet starfish, you know? Instead of it having a cute face, it was a huge terrifying monstrosity. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, Umi. That Star Terror never got, ever got the ch the chance he'd eat you and everyone you care about. Well, obviously I'm not stupid. I feel sorry for it, though. Right, let's carry along and get to Manconia. We are here! The world map! Right, this, I can imagine, is Manconia. So, what we're going to do... Save. We'll throw a save in there. This has been the start of Cthulhu Saves the World. We are here at Manconia. Uh, I think it's called that. Anyway, we'll be carrying on this hopefully on a daily basis. Get through this and get through Breath of Fire. Have some absolute amazing fun. Thank you for joining me. You guys have been awesome. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, lovers, mothers, parents, fathers, and everyone else. Until next time, I've been the OG Nerd. You guys have been awesome.